welcome to Rotor Right. I'm Let's Fly RC, and if you know me, you know that I am the king of crash. And I'm in a tree. Yep. Okay. And because I crash so often, I have to have a drone that's extremely durable. So today I'm going to show you five things you can do to your drone to make it more durable. I pride myself on having what I think is the most durable frame on the planet. And the reason it's so durable is some of the design techniques that I put into this design. Today I'm going to show you how you can apply some of those design techniques to your drone frame to make it even more durable than it is now. Number one. The first pointer is probably the most obvious thing you'll see on this drone frame, and that's the 3D printed arm protectors around the carbon fiber arms. The 3D printed arm protectors do a great job of keeping the carbon fiber arms from splintering on the ends, which makes them last a lot longer. Generally, when I pull these 3D printed arm protectors off of my arms, the carbon underneath looks brand new, and you can easily replace the TPU arm protector with another one every time you've damaged them. Number two. Tip number two on how to make your drone more durable. This 3D printed GoPro adapter on the top here can do wonders for your drone, even if you don't fly an action camera. This particular GoPro mount is my own custom creation that I spent a lot of time perfecting with just the right amount of bumper lip on the edge here to protect the lens and keep the GoPro from getting smashed into concrete and whatever else I happen to crash into. This makes your action camera extremely durable in an impact and keeps you from having to spend more money on GoPros. But it also helps to protect the frame as well. Even if you aren't running an action camera, when you do impact on the top of the frame, it acts as a bumper to protect not only your FPV camera, but your battery as well, which rests on top here. Because if this TPU mount hits first, it's gonna keep you from impacting those other items. Number three. Another thing I like to protect with 3D printed TPU is my video transmitter. What I've noticed over time is that if your video transmitter is cushioned with a 3D printed material such as TPU, it helps to resist vibration in an impact. So if you do crash into a concrete wall or something like that, your video transmitter isn't gonna take all of that impact because it's protected by that cushion. Number four. Tip number four is a way to protect your electronics on the arm of your drone frame. This is a tip that I got from Ladrib a long time ago, and it goes back to the days when we were using individual ESCs on the arm. A lot of our builds here at rotorite.com have solder-free connectors on the arms, and a prop strike can easily damage that plastic and break your connector. So one way to help prevent that prop strike from damaging either the wires on your arm, your ESCs on the arm, or these solder-free connectors on the arm would be to take some of your old props that are damaged, snip off one of the blades, and then electrical tape it on top of the components on the arm. Having the piece of prop down here on the arm will help protect the electronics underneath. You can simply electrical tape it in place by wrapping the electrical tape around the protecting propeller piece. Wrap it around the entire propeller all the way around. You never can have enough electrical tape. Now in flight or in a crash, if the prop happens to get bent and come down and strike the arm, it'll protect the electronics underneath. Number five. The final tip I have for you guys on how to make your drone more durable is to take a piece of heat shrink and wrap it around your FPV antennas and then heat shrink it on there. And this will help to prevent your antennas from splitting. And it'll also help to keep them from popping out of any 3D printed mount you might have them mounted inside of. This heat shrink can easily be replaced after multiple crashes to keep it fresh. And it also helps to keep your 3D printed mouse and your antennas look more presentable as well. But most importantly, it keeps them from getting broken in a crash and keeps them from popping out and ripping your antenna cables out of your video transmitter. Another thing that's really important about these antennas is to make sure that whatever mounts you have, they are out of the way of the props as they're spinning. Even in a crash, just make sure that when they do bend in whatever direction they bend, they can't get struck by the prop. That'll help to keep them lasting longer and your drone will be more durable and thank you for it. So to recap on the five things you can do to protect your drone and make it more durable, I recommend a 3D printed action camera mount, 3D printed arm protectors, 3D printed soft mounting of your video transmitter, prop strike protection for your electronics on the arms, and of course, antenna protection with heat shrink and proper mounting techniques of your antennas on the back of your drone, those will help to keep you in there longer and help you to fly more and repair less. If you guys don't wanna to have to think about how to make your own drone frame more durable, just buy the most durable frame on the planet, my tank too, available now at rotorite.com and you won't have to worry about designing this stuff to be more durable because it's already the most durable frame on the planet. 
That's the five tips to help you make your drone frame more durable. If there's any tips that you guys have that I didn't mention, be sure to leave a comment in the description and let us know how you make your drone frame more durable. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Let's Fly RC and we'll see you next time on Ruta Riot.